Hey people, Indra here, back with the Age of Wonders and our quest for victory. Uh, eight turns away. We've got a palisade walls over here. Excellent. We need stone walls for sure. I can raise an undead army somewhere. Not going to do that right now. I have zero casting points. Yeah, because I'm trying to get a watcher. Acnes Dagger's Edge has revived. Go away. Negotiations. All oh, right, we're doing vassalage stuff over here. Thirty percent other income shared now. We could pop this. Sure. This gold is our biggest concern at the moment. Your domain has been invaded. All right, over here. We're chasing these fellas down, and we have stabilized a lot on the east with the Father Oak. End turn then. Oh yeah, we're sieging down Tuskheim as well. Any movement from Acnes? Yes, they are trying to hit back here. I'm feeling a lot more confident. Again, I do not want to fight them in their territory. So they can come and attack me if they like. But I'm going to have a Watcher. Where do I summon this guy? We probably use it to replace one of these skeletons here. Watcher in. Cool. And now we have 67. So we can't quite summon a corrupt soul. Could summon a lesser snow spirit, but do I want a lesser snow spirit is the question. Uh, no, I don't. I did not meant to I did not mean to press that. I guess we're summoning it now. I don't know if we get the things back if we cancelled it. Alright, I can't put it there. There you go. I wonder if you'll survive. If we look in here, we're very close. One turn away from getting Astral Binding. Which would have been very useful for that snow spirit, but whatever. And also close to getting the, well, 14 turns away from that. I don't think we're getting that anytime soon. But we could see if this is retroactive. Getting very low on gold, you know. I might have to cancel my enchantment. Not Fetid Legion. This one, True Death Magic. The mark for death doesn't come up that often doesn't proc that often and when it does it's you have to wait three turns for them to die so I am gonna cancel this we're still gonna be in the red but I'm not cancelling any of those I'm gonna try and live through this oh we have some fairies that can hopefully kind of quickly get them so oh, still gonna take bloody four turns but they'll be able to fly over stuff whatever Get your, heart, get your asses over here. So what happened with... Oh, these guys ran at me, but didn't attack. And there's Copperbore himself. All isolated, look. What a dumbass. Surely we can auto this. They've got tier 1s and things. Yeah, safe battle. I bloody hope so. Good stuff. Got 99 gold as well. And we can make it to Copper Ball. I don't know what he's trying to do here. But you're going to die. I mean, maybe we should have kept that enchantment going and just sold a bunch of our gear and stuff. Why did that battle take so long? Bone Dragon took a bunch of damage. But it's fine. Another 54 gold there. Do we push south? I mean, maybe. Oh, we got a free white witch here. That bone dragon is kind of messed up. Oh, these guys can't... If you build a road... Yeah, you can get back in. For now, we're going to wait in friendly territory. You just head back to the Hollow Castle. Although, how much 
gold are you costing me, bud? Twelve. Mm -mm. You're gone. Oh yeah, you guys are gonna help with this siege. You guys come south. Can't build roads, I assume. Yeah, this enemy territory. But they can't bring off bring up enough to be a threat, I don't think. I doubt they're gonna attack me, but they might be desperate. I don't know if there's some kind of desperation feature built into the AI where as the timer gets closer they make worse and worse decisions kind of thing. Brenth is on her way, our mighty Lich Queen. With her incredibly powerful army and the ability to overchannel, I want it all. Here come the fairies. You guys... Yeah, you're staying here for now. Next time we can do a bunch more restore undeads. You grew again. Why are you growing so much now? Very confused. I'm going to get quarries to make the produce merchandise a little bit better. They gave us one gold there. You also grew. Don't see any gold mines, so quarry. The hero? Oh, right. Gerrit still leveling up. No idea what to give you, buddy. Let's give you weakening aura, I suppose. Still have one more level. Don't we have a murder ring or whatever it's called? Yeah. Vicious killer and inspiring killer. Do that. Cool. Can launch this thing. But I don't think we need to. Nice to have an emergency army in your pocket, though. And because of the tome, there's another one in this tome I think we can do. So those 19 casting points are going to go probably on a Reaper. Would be nice to get some necromancers to the front line over here, but gold. They cost a bunch of gold necromancers, 20 each, I think. We captured you. We have a tier one sword. What is this? A lifesteal ring? That's bloody good. Well, you were going to die anyway, of course, but... I don't think I've seen that before. What the heck do you have? You have that awesome shield. But I like the shield we have on Grendil. You have some decent stuff. What? Close. What ring do you have now, Grendel? Ooh, plus one, plus one. That's a pretty bloody good ring. Is it better than vampirism, though? Now, we already have lifesteal. Because of this. In Age of Wonders 3, if you got two stacks of lifesteal, it became greater lifesteal. I don't know if that's the same here. No, it still just says lifesteal. Okay, so the ring isn't actually useful for us. But I can't put that back until next turn. So I'm going to give you a wind barrier ring. Which might actually be better for you. It's hard to say. I guess it depends specifically what units they bring. Copper Boar has gone to the void because he got himself killed like an idiot. I already executed you, didn't I? Yes, I did. A treaty has expired. I think I was getting gold from you or something. Yeah, I was. Give me that back. Look at that. It means you break even. End the turn. Don't expect these guys to... Put oh. Oh. They are just pushing through for some reason. Okay. A weird move. I assume they were trying to kill these guys, but they did not. If I attack this stack, I don't think Killian gets dragged in. So I might need to... I might need to... move Grendel... Yeah, and I can't move Killian away because then the siege ends. 
But we can move these guys up. And Grendel can get up there. And of course Grenf is here. So they're super dead. Super, super dead. Give me your gold and your knowledge and things. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We'll just leave Killian there. Doing the siege stuff. I guess you can help with that fight. We don't need all three of you down here now that Grenth has arrived. And fairies. Superb. What do you have in your army, Killian? We can maybe replace these warlocks. They are legendary warlocks. But frost damage is not great against Agnes's army. Although... Don't we have a winter fairy? Yes, a winter fairy. The other fairy is pretty good though. Anything else here we could conceivably, conceivably steal? What about a spirit wolf? You do have a whole bunch of buffs, but you're very glass cannoning, aren't you? That's a lot of damage though. That's a huge amount of damage. Hmm. We have good frontliners here. And so do you. What about you, buddy? Maybe we'll replace this autumn fairy with that spirit wolf. Well, you can't do it now. But yeah, I think I might do that. It seems like, it seems like a fun unit. We've had that wolf for ages as well. It would be nice to see them get legendary. Uh, you guys stay here. Who's this? All oh, right. Here comes Copper Boar again. Yeah. That is enemy territory. Where... Okay, I do not see a spell jammer. Don't see one. So what I might do is do a little switcheroo here. Put that dragon there, put both the injured dragons in the same army. So that when I spam, we're still around dead. It heals on both. We can do two more of those. And we run face first into this stuff. Because that's going to give us a bunch of gold. And other things. Restore. Undead. Do I get the Age of Shadow things when I'm, when I'm fighting in enemy territory, I wonder? I'm not actually sure. Who's the weakest army here? By rating. That one right in the middle. It's not that much worse though, is it? Can anyone actually make it there? Hmm. Maybe I just stay in friendly territory, actually. So I might have had... It might have been that I had to break off a unit to start that fight and then they get all alone and stuff. We'll just wait wherever you are. I assume they'll try to attack us or something. Even though my army ratings are way higher. Only 1900 on Bargeth though, even though they're full of tier 4s. But I guess you have tier 5 and another hero. Yeah, okay. Just wait here, fellas. We can summon a Reaper. And I guess we do it over here. I like your army how it is. Yeah, we'll replace the warlock with the wolf. I think. Warlock can come down here. Wolf. Get in there, buddy. And the fairy can be replaced with the little reaper. We'll just summon it now. Oh, no, we don't have to. We'll save a turn of Imperium by not summoning it now. The Empire Development Skill. Oh, yeah. Give me that. That should be plus three ranks on our Reaper then when we get them. Got the remains of this guy. End turn. What now, Agnes? Oh, these guys are attacking. Oh, wait. Oh, I see what they're doing. 
crap, I forgot. These guys are, are, are technically on the outpost, so they are doing three versus two. Sneaky, sneaky boys. Let's see what the auto does. I assume we're going to lose some bone dragons here. We didn't. Well done. Auto combat. Are they going to attack again? Need to be very careful of that. They did not attack again. Worried about what this guy's up to. They are moving north. It's going to take them a while to be a threat to me, I think. Have to go through an awful lot of territory. But they could eventually be a threat. Tuskheim falls next turn. Grenth. Our Lich Queen is on the front line. Grendil. I can't take your fairy out yet. You guys I think this stack is going to stand on the tree next turn. Magic victory in five turn. Yes it is. Uh, oh, we got a free little pursuer guy. Oh, look at this. Are you guys attacking? Well done. It's a decent army too. I can't believe they're attacking. I'm so proud. This pursuer. I wish there was like a button where you could just give a unit to a vassal or something. Just go up into the outpost and live there. You need to leave the outpost. You don't get we don't get one of those three versus two things again. And I guess I'm gonna restore undead a bit on Vargas army again. bunch actually big buckets of hit points those guys you never 190 hit points would be great if we had another army here that was bigger but that'll do for a 152 we could get a watcher for 150 Maybe it doesn't matter. Oh, we could pop Cascading Power again. Yeah, we'll do that. I think it's limited amount of turns, but it doesn't make that clear. Tried to keep an eye on it this time. I assume it's three turns, like the um, some of the city buffs are, but we'll see. We're all in spots that can fight now. Should I just fight them, actually? Yeah, probably should, eh? It's not enemy territory here. Even if it was, they don't have a spell jammer, I don't think. <laughs> Not that I could see. I don't think the vassals can build them. Could be wrong. But I don't think they get special provinces. <coughs> nice. Now we can go attack these bozos, I suppose. Give it up, Copper Boar. I'm massacring your people. Another crunch. We have Demonic Focus. Awesome. What's this? Plus 50% morale from all sources. This is half done, apparently. I want this. I also want to start casting that thing we just got. Demonic focus. It is going to cost me gold, but I think that's bloody good. Better than the true death magic thing. Hey, we got a tier 2 spear guy. Okay. You guys can now look after this outpost now that we've cleared it up a bit. Copper Boar still has one back here doing nothing. Costing them 10 gold per turn. Still have a turn for this. I thought we got it to one turn already. Huh. I 
guess not. Just wait there, guys. This is all fine. Can replace this stack with another. This stack could do with some updating as well. Let's see how it goes. Ah, oh, fairies. We can put some fairies in it. Yes, we can continue on here. This is considered enemy territory, so we'll actually heal up a little bit faster than neutral territory. And we can go and crush Gold Wall, which has pitifully low fortification for a 20 population. That's nuts. We may be... Uh, should I? Mm -hmm. I think we'll just raise it. I think we'll just raise it. I was thinking of doing the convert to goblins and then vassal, but it takes a while and that's like three turns where your income gets destroyed and that might kill me that might be like minus 300 or something gold I think units I think there should be a thing where units cost less upkeep when they are on the camping stance for however many turns until it kicks in or whatever so you can't just do it every turn oh last level on Gerrid no, no idea what to give you, buddy. You're not leading an army, so all this support stuff is useless. You literally can't... Oh, you can quick stab. So we'll do this. I'll give you first strike so you can stab people before they hit you, I guess. New Empire development skills available. This one is available. So shall we see if it works? Because I don't have 12 turns to wait for this. It did not retroactively work. Good to know. Copper Boar's back. We got the remains of this person. And that person. And we end the turn. And we go back over here. And... Acnes's turn was very quick, actually. So was Copper Boar's. Personal curse. Baroness blah 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 of Dim Terror has requested your insight. Some punishment for a warlock that betrayed them. Kill her and make her under thrall. I get a shadow boon. Do something good. No, no, no. Gain a warlock, infuriate them, and be evil. Let's do this then. Stability doesn't really matter that much, but whatever. You guys are defending this outpost with your lives. And I'm just going south. Wow, I can make it to this... Oh, but these guys can't make it. Forest slowing them down. They need dragon wings. I'm going to do some more restore undeading. Oh, I can't. I've got three spells in the... Oh, demonic focus. Gonna put us back in the negative. What's positive for a second there? I don't actually know why. Maybe one of our vassals leveled up in. Oh, we got a merchant's guild finally. That was it. That took forever. But that was pretty good. Don't really have time to get any more of this other stuff. Could get a dark forge in four turns. Whatever, just do some merchandising, guys. I need to get my Reaper, finally. To replace this skeleton. This fairy. These skeletons just leave. Oh, how did this happen? Where the heck did these guys come from? Whatever. Die. So many buffs. <coughs> Didn't even lose a skeleton. Look at that. Raise it. Now, do I need to have a hero there to do the souls thing? I think I might, actually. To found a city with souls. And then I'd have to go through the vassalization thing again, so whatever. Just come back into the fold. These guys are in backup. These fairies, if I can select them, 
are going to come and reinforce the army that's on the outpost next turn replace a couple of those skeletons you leave don't want you getting attacked reaper in here they should come in really nice high level because they are magic origin right yes look at that comes in at elite that is superb love that Alrighty. You're going to blow up in four turns. I don't think anything can get there, but I have no idea where those guys came from. Is there a, like a teleport to friendly city spell that I've forgotten about? I do have 72 casting points. So cascading power, is it still active? No, that's why it pops up on... No, it is, it is. Okay, we'll see how much longer it's been. How, how much longer it lasts. Don't know if I'm going to push this way. I guess it's a good way of just relieving pressure if you're just pushing them back. So maybe we will... Maybe we will, once Killian catches up, we can take Killian, Grenf and Grendil, like the old days and go rampaging to the east. You guys live here. You guys just wait a bit. You fellas need some restoring of undead, which I can now cast. Still have way more souls than I could ever use. One more. I don't want to waste these last eight casting points, so... Summon a living fog. Sure. Anything we could actually replace. Not really. I guess maybe I could replace one of these necromancers. I don't think I need two. But they're legendary necromancers. Done bloody good. Just leave them in there. Just have that living fog in the pocket. Put that undead army in the pocket. Captured someone. Murder. Let me just check. What do you have? Some heavy greaves. Slow movement though. What is this? Tier 4 robes? What? That's excellent. Murder. Those go to Grin. She is our queen and gets the fanciest clothes. Oh, wow, I've got loads of them. Okay, Killian gets one as well. It is certain... Certain gear that the AI just gets given to them for free, I think, every turn or something, because they just have loads of them. Remains of this person. Oh, some put got... Person of guilt on me. On who? Oh, one of these guys. Maybe the dragons, I guess. Negotiation succeeded. See, I'm good at negotiating. End the turn. I do. What happened to you guys? Oh. There's th there's this. Well, crap. They lost. Can we do this with spells? I should have spotted this and cast summons over here, but I didn't. So they've got a bunch of tier 4 tyrant knights and I need to start marking them for death immediately. Mark for death and run I think is what we're going to do here a lot. Maybe some Withering Mist as well. Cas cascading Power will also help us out. That's alright. They can catch us so fast though. 
So Withering Mist might be good to stop attacks of opportunity and that kind of thing. Now this turn, do I get together for a soul overflow or do I just mark for death again? And hope that they don't have a way to dispel it. I think I mark for death again. It's too valuable to get rid of these tier 4s that way. To not do it, you know? I think we keep running. Because those guys, I think we can avoid. If we do that. Oh, you can hit my bone golem. Hit him really hard, actually. And those guys obviously can. And you could maybe convert something. That would be really bad. Despair removed. Did they remove Mark for Death? Ouch. Okay, we'll get the zombie out of here at least. Oh no. Did they remove the Mark for Death? I think they did. Terrible, terrible news. We may be dead now. I think I'm going to Withering Mist. Should have done it on the first turn. What did they use? Purifying Flame, look. Balls, 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 balls. I guess they could use it to also stop. Blindness. your retaliation at least with that. Oh, this is going to be interesting. By interesting, I mean horribly bad. How were they able to do this without sieging? Isn't this a city? Am I going mad? Does this city have no fortification? Quite mad if it's true. Okay, there were no corpses there, which is actually bad. We didn't get a zombie. Not get a zombie. Oh, they converted my my skeletons. Hmm. Which one is it? Is it this one? Yes, I get my skeletons back. Okay. Not getting the decays. Can't quite get the kill like that. That just doesn't do much damage. I could try to freeze something. Not very good chance of that though. Yeah, there's no corpses. I guess I do rotting explosion that really damaged one. Oh, you're a skeleton, not a zombie. You're the zombie. Uh, you can get some really good damage flanking over there though. can get you killed and then raise a zombie there oh we can also do this thing also explosive manifestation that kills you oh it didn't kill you did you graze what happened or oh, whatever Maybe you just came back to life, I don't know. Bunch of morale. Did not get the convert there, which is good. 
Give me another corpse and another corpse. Ouch, spirit ball from my bone golem now. It's not good. Oh, the auto zombies will go. Awesome. Withering Mist killed one as well. We might be able to do this, even though those two Mark for Deaths completely failed. We have no corpses to eat. Ah, you're blinded. So we do have a corpse to eat. Excellent. And you die. Then... Oh, we move this guy and raise some zombies. Yeah, you only get a single hit, so we don't lose anything by moving. It's not a charge, though, either, so... I need to build up movement, either. Okay. Raise zombies. Best spell in the game. They come with full action points. So very good. Very confused about how... Yeah, they're not dying. Oh, they got steadfast. How were they able to attack this city? Does it really have no fortification? Or do they have some kind of spell they can mess with fortification or something? Very confused. Ouch. Leave them alone. Please? Killed my warlock. Oh, and he instantly got turned into a zombie, so I can't revive them. And then Withering Mist, it's such a nice combo. And the zombies just wreck everything. Okay, so you can die. This guy got steadfast as well, did he? Oh no, he just got down to one hit point. Oh, you are steadfast. I guess I just missed it in that list there. Did I? I don't... Oh, is it part of this? Oh, it's Keeper's Mark. Okay. I guess I can nuke you a bit, but you're just going to steadfast at some point, aren't you, I guess? Let's just nuke you a bit. Who's going to enter defense mode? This guy? There's nothing else they can do. Right? I think so. Love the summons. Okay, that guy died. More zombie. Mist and the cascading powers going off as well. Beautiful. Oh, they're going to be steadfast. So I can't do anything to him. Plus, in the turn. King zombies are decaying. Beautiful. Beautiful, that's what you get. Yeah, Valley of Souls has no fortification. And there's something back here. How did that happen? Did I really put no fortifications in Valley of Souls? That's mental. I'll get some palisade walls then, I guess. And we need to summon our undead army here. Oh, this time we just got skeletons. Oh, that sucks. I'm going to... I can also summon my living fog. I'm also going to do that again. And maybe I can rush this. Okay, just rush it. And give me some stone walls, please. And other things, probably. There's... Ah, we have Acnes themselves shown up. They're maybe trying to stop Tuskheim from burning or something. But what they're going to find is a whole lot of pain. With three of my best armies in their face. I actually really like the change that they made where battle casting points are 
separate, not carried over between turn, between armies, I mean. And just cast a bunch of spells, it's quite fun. Oh. This stack, please. Like that. Good. You guys run away. In fact, I should put you on here. So there's no funny business. You also run away. Don't dilute my stacks. How are these stacks doing? This one's still got a couple of skeletons in it. I could living fog it up, I suppose. But I think we're okay. We're going to push now. Valley of Souls now has a little bit of fortification, so they would need to siege it down. Just make sure my other cities have some bloody fortification going on. Yeah. I guess I... I bet at some point I said, oh, this is going to be safe. We don't need to put fortification on. Or maybe they did something. I don't know why it's showing me movement and then doesn't. It's because it's like updating in real time where they move to. Maybe. Can we push right now, right now? No. Killian can't move very much. But we can do this. There is... Yeah, there is a spell jammer. But they have so little here now. But I'm just going to go for it burn everything as we go. Three turns away from victory, actually. I really thought there would be, like, special AI armies. Oh, hey! That would attack my wonders, but I guess not. So, Copper Ball just has limitless units, it seems. How did you get a Banshee? A legendary Banshee, no less. Hmm... If I siege gold wall, if I go around the side here, I don't think they can get to me super easily. First, we can clean up some armies. Get a free spearman. Go into the mountains and live. I don't think they can get to me if I start the siege from here. Bombardment. Get a one turn siege. What does this do? Three random enemies sustain 10, 10, 10 each turn. And no towers. That's bloody good, eh? We'll also do the soul siphons because it just sounds fun. Awesome. I wonder if they'll come and try to defend or they'll just push north. There's not much here for them to push very quickly, to be honest. They could try to go for Adolonium, but they've got they've got some defenses there. Who's this? Oh, you guys live here now. You all came in champion rank. Awesome. Oh, Killian isn't level 20 yet. Huh. What the hell is this? Attackers within two hexes have a 60% chance of getting around it. That is not going to happen very, lof very often, is it? We're going to do some support stuff, I think. Like strength training. There you go. Yeah, I can summon a living fog. But I don't think I will. Keep that in my pocket. Hackness has died. This guy's been captured. Just looking out for some of that more regen thing. What is it called? Horn of Plenty. You can die. We end the turn. It might be a very quick turn for Akness. So we didn't have too much today. No, it was a very quick turn. What are you guys going to do? You are indeed just kind of heading vaguely north. There's Copper Ball back already, look. Crush this siege. I believe you are just dwarves. 
here. We've got a free little pikeman guy. Raise it. You guys get in there too. You could go after it, copper boar. So I'm gonna raise some more undead friends. We've got at least one banshee, yeah, a banshee and a couple of bone golems and they're all champion rank. Love it. And we'll get that living frog in there too. And what else could we get? 88. We can get a... Oh wait, let me see if cascading power is still going. It is still going. I don't know what happened to it before then. Hmm. Was it dispelled? Is there a way to dispel things? Or did I, did I cancel it by mistake? We can get a corrupt soul. Oh, we can do this as well. Does it? It's only going to affect my non-undead stuff though, isn't it? Can undead gain morale? Yeah, morale changes don't happen, but it would affect my like, summon stuff that isn't undead. Not worth going for, though, I don't think. Corrupt soul it is. In that army. I wonder if that's enough to make these guys not attack. I'm pretty sure I could beat them with all my spells and stuff. I'd rather they not attack in the first place. These guys... I want to attack these fellas. Should be pretty clean. Look, 10 rounds until score victory we've got to. It's a long ass game. It's a long battle that's simulating here, apparently. There we go. You guys can make your way down to Gold Wall as well. Oh, it looks like Vargeth can get into a defensive position. So it'd be kind of insane to try and attack it. Okay. Good, good, good. And then we go off to Silverstrad, I suppose. If the game even goes that long. Only two turns. Who's this? Right, you leave. Stop diluting my stacks. And you push into Acnes territory. How dare you try to take my wonders from me, you fool. I don't see any of their other units around. It's just a, a smattering of them. This guy, I don't know what you're doing. I think, again, I think it's a proximity thing. Like, this wonder is too far away for Scape Shaper to do anything about, even though they are losing the game. There should be certain instances where the AI does not take distance or proximity into account when they want to attack things, such as this situation where they need to stop me. Who's this? You guys keep guarding over here. Well done. You guys are just living in gold wall for a while until it blows up. There's Reveler's Heart. Harvest population. All right. Whatever. Losing morale is all right. Some marked stuff. Let's just do the things that are quick. Valley of Souls can annex. Only now. Did it get some defenses? Amazing. Remains of this person have been collected. And that person. Next turn. 
Acnes has a quick turn again. Copper Bore. They've still got stacks coming. Are they going to try this? A risky battle, really? Weird. Because it doesn't rate my undead stacks when it doesn't do all the zombie stuff that I do. I guess my stuff still gets killed. We lost the Corrupt Soul, but that's fine. Copper Board dies again. How many times have they gone down? Any more action from Red Player? Whatever their name is. Belia Thraka or something. Beliara Thaka, there we go. One turn, apparently. Until we have survived. You guys... How far can Vargeth get? About that far, so we'll do that. You also need some healing there, bud. I can do this ten times. No, not raise undead army. Damn it, just used a bunch of my freaking casting points. I don't know if you can cancel it now. Whatever, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. You guys can uh, join there. Oh, you can't. You guys are already camping. Who's this? You fellas join the party at Tusk Time, I suppose. We're just waiting for this over here. Be pillaging or something, maybe. I don't think I need to pillage the spell jammer though. Just not much stuff defending it. Uh, just camp, guys. Stop asking me things. Mental mark. More tones. Demon gate. Those who master the art of summoning will always. That sounds fun. We're not going to have time to cast it, unfortunately. Did we ever get close to this? Seven turns. Would have been amazing for us. Raise undead armies ready. Yes, it is. Um, let me check. Valley of. By right. No. Not that I can see. Just in case. Do that. Just camp here. All coming in at champion rank is amazing. Acnes died. That guy died. The remains of that guy. Remains of that guy. And these fellas, who I've never even heard of, have sent a war party. They seem to be goblins. Nisseldaheim or something. Whatever. End the turn. I don't know if I, need, if I need to end another turn or if that's going to be it. Never tell. Well, Dane is desperately going, trying to stop this. I mean, I don't really care if they do. And they couldn't do it. Really trying to get Gold Wall back, eh? What can I work out here, fellas? Oh, is that it? I think that is it. Magic victory is done. Got a bit dicey at some points when I wasn't as prepared as I should have been to defend those um, wonders. I should have I should have recognized that that eastern one was the most in need of defense, but I wasn't I didn't know if the AI was going to summon some weird armies to fight the wonders and stuff, which didn't happen. I was really expecting that. I guess when everyone declares on you and comes to you, that's kind of enough. The Lich Queen does it. I can show my journey, apparently. Oh, look how strong Copper Ball was in the mid-game. We knocked him down to size of it, and then it was green. It was green again? Can I see? It was Scape Shaper, wasn't it? So Scape Shaper was really tough. Yeah, because they weren't fighting anyone. They were just sitting back there. Okay. Definitely add Lich Queen Grenth. Now she's gone back to her mortal form. To the Pantheon. Maybe she'll show up and we can spend some points here or something. On stuff. 
Are there any other like cultures and stuff? Artisan culture trait here. Give me that. That's just a cape, I think. It's a cool looking cape though, isn't it? A banner. Helmet. I think oh, what's this? Ooh, chosen destroyers. And silver tongue down here. Free trade deals with free cities. Start with diplomatic focus, so you get an extra whispering stone. Start with an extra scout. And pronouncements cost you half. Interesting. How much points do I have? I need to see. I got seven out of that. I want to get chosen destroyers. There we go. There we can get that as well. I think that's all of the. Oh, there's a hammer here. Start with a great hammer. And quake, which is fun. What is this? Just the banner. There is some stuff up here. I've heard multiple people say, I think, that if you get the points beneath things, it unlocks everything before it. Seems to suggest I can still unlock this stuff, but I do think I've seen that cape, so maybe they're right. Maybe they're right. Oh, I don't know if I've seen that wizard hat, though. I haven't seen that, so I don't know. I don't know. This staff looks cool. Try and get that staff, maybe. Well, there's all my points gone. Done! Look at them all. Vargeth, Gideon, Drakeshu, and now Grenth. Thank you for watching, guys. It was a fun game. Magic Victory was tough at the end, but we got it done. I'll see you guys in the next one.